about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind, and it's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It's your boy, that boy Max, back once again for the 2K24 brand new first episode of my radio show, The Midwest Music Grind. And I want to say first and foremost to everybody out here, man, happy new year to everybody. Hope everybody is uh, living good, had a great way to end the year. Now we're about to start the year off in a positive way, and I'm so excited about what we got going on, including saying that uh, we're sponsored by Jay's Bar and Grill right there on Covert, y'all, 1602 Van Avenue in Evansville, Indiana, y'all. It's going down, and I'm just so excited to welcome them to be a new sponsor for the radio show, man. But today, we have a new special guest, y'all, to start the year off. We got the homie 29 is in the building. What's popping, big dog? What's popping? How you doing, man? Good living. Good, good, good. I see you iced up and everything. Got everything yeah. popping, man. I got to give me one of them, man. I'm about to talk to you about that before we leave. You feel me? Yeah. Who we got next to you right quick? Good Kid Lamb. What's up, big dog? How you doing? Happy New Year. What's going on? What you got going? What's up? Same thing. I ain't living. talked to you in some months, man. So you yeah. know I'm going to come back around and talk to you soon, right? Yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah. come check on you soon, but right now we're going to talk about 2-9. You feel me? Bruh, thank you for coming down and being a part of, in a, a, a part of the show and a guest of the show. I want to go ahead and get into some music stuff, man. So real quick, man, I know for everybody listening out there, how did you get the name 2-9? 2-9, it came from uh, really my pops. It's uh, deep. It really got a story to it. Um, 29 was my uncle's birthday, both of them. Mm -hmm. They were born on the 29th. And uh, that's how my dad came with the number 29. I always looked up to him. Mm -hmm. I always idolized him. So uh, once he passed away and everything, I just had to keep the... 29 going on, so I just made my name 2-9. 2-9. I feel that. That's a lot of uh, significance behind that name, man. And, you know, RIP to your pops, but shout Appreciate out to your uncle, too, as well. That's my guy, too, as Appreciate well, it. man. So it's all good, man. We're going to keep it moving. It's all good. Um, how long have you been doing music for professionally now? Mm, not long at all, really. I'll say probably, like, Eight months. Eight months? Yeah. You got some good stuff going? Because I didn't see a lot of content dropping already and, you know, mm -hmm. some shows and everything going. Yeah. So I see you moving mm -hmm. light speed. You moving know what I'm saying? You're moving just as fast as I think I've seen a lot of people move in the yeah. tri-state area. So it's good to see that you're connected with a lot of people already, man. Mm -hmm. So speaking of shows, do you got a show coming up? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, yeah. When is it? January 12th. Okay. Now, what is, is it like a showcase? Is it like a talent show? Is it like a, just like a like a concert? What, it's, what more we got? Of, it's more of like a, a showcase. I know they got a like a free video for whoever gets first place. So I know it's kind of like a competition mm -hmm. in a way, but also trying to get our name out there and my yes, name, my brother's name. Yes, stuff sir. Like that. Yes, sir. Are you familiar with a lot of artists that are on the bill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Have you done any collabs with any other other artists that's, that's on there? Good kid. That's it. Oh man, yeah, okay. We gotta keep okay. it in the family. Really. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah. Like, I think I've seen some names like uh like like Sethy P. Mm -hmm, yeah, I know. Uh uh, uh Obutney Lee, who we had on here yeah. not too long ago. Shout out yeah. to Obutney Lee as well. Yeah. yeah, man, they got they got a nice little lineup, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you said it got moved, I believe, right? So where is it gonna be at? It's gonna be in Owensboro in Kentucky. Uh I'm not sure exactly which building yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know it will be in Owensboro. And I'm pretty sure it's still on the same day on that Friday. Okay. Uh, next Friday. Nice, nice. Okay. Next Friday. Bet. Um, who are some of your musical influences, man? That kind of got you started in the whole rap thing. Uh, I'm gonna only give it to one person. That's my brother, Lamb. Lamb. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else. So like. No, nah, I never really seen myself rapping. It was always sports, football, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of that, um, coming back home and stuff, doing what I was doing or whatever. But did you move? Uh, yeah, because I was in college playing for a little bit. Okay, what uh, was you in college playing? At? I now that's something yeah. I didn't know at all. I was in uh, Kentucky, at, uh, in Owensboro, Kentucky Westland, and I was in Columbia, Kentucky at uh, Lindsey Wilson. For what a was your position? Years. Linebacker. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. So real quick, aside from music, who's your favorite NFL team then? Chicago Bears. I don't 
know why I even no, asked that question, that. bro. Yeah. Everything yeah. is from the already know Family where it's from headed. Chicago, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So I know I've had the pleasure of being able to record you, but you've already had music before that even. Mm -hmm. So could you like, you know what I'm saying, describe some of the inspiration behind one of your favorite songs? Yep. Uh, What's it called, first of all? I got a few though, really. It's kind of hard. No, but, no, no. Uh, yeah, like give me like a but, little bit of some inspiration like, behind uh, both of them. I like Turning Leaves. Okay. What's yeah. the inspiration behind that? Um, My father passing mm -hmm. and uh, uh, somebody that I like to call my auntie. Yeah. Um, Lena, and it was a collab with uh, myself and Lam. Okay. And it was really just deep and really mean some. So like if you're from around here and you know him and like you you really know like what we done been through. Mm -hmm. And it all happened within a two week span between his auntie and my father. Mm. Okay. And yeah, on the I same like year. So it was just like with everything that went down with them both being murdered and stuff, it just was you feel me, just got a it had a lot of heart into it. Yeah. A lot of feeling and stuff and yeah. emotions into it. Yeah. And that's a good thing though, man. I'm glad that you were able to let out some of your you know what I'm saying, release through some of that music, man. Would you look at music as some therapy? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. And a performer. Real I got to see him perform. Yeah, he I want to see him perform. real life. I'm <laughs> telling you, he's an entertainer for real. Yeah. Oh, I believe God. it. I mean, I've just, seen him in some of the videos that you've done, yeah. some of his own that he's done, and uh, that, yeah. that y'all have even been in. Mm -hmm. I always do see you going a little it's crazy gonna, with it's everybody. It's going to materialize, though, like you ain't really seen yet. Like mm -hmm. you're going to see him really like, up there. real life. Entertainer mm -hmm. for real. Like okay. when we out of town, yeah. Like okay. It's, it's now, that. where did y'all just get back from? Uh, we just come back from Atlanta. What was popping in Atlanta, man? Talk to me yeah. about it. Atlanta, Atlanta was the, I would say it was the best decision of our lives for real to go uh, down there. We went for my birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, we went and turned Happy up. Happy belated birthday, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Appreciate Turn it. me up. Yep. Uh, went down there, really, and met the right people, bumped shoulders with the right people. Um, Got uh got Lamb's uh song on the in the club. Okay, what club he, did y'all go to? We was at when Dad right there happened. That was at Penthouse okay. down there in Atlanta, and then uh, shit went up from there. He restarted the song and everything started yeah. from the beginning. We was up there basically performing it. So yeah, Everybody so y'all felt us. like y'all was in like like it yeah. was about to be him. Yeah, for sure. And he came back and got numbers and everything, and he's really really on on that. So okay, his stuff's spinning. So we we on a whole nother time right now i feel like it's it's right here I, we can taste it right right so how would you describe your music is it like energetic like you know what i'm saying is it like a lot of pain is it like a lot of emotion is it like a lot of uh high energy like like what can we expect from two nine um tw uh i would say a lot of emotion mm -hmm. and then um emotion and like it can also be kind of like not 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 romantic as a way but like mm -hmm. Just like, you know, I, I like the ladies. Right. So I like to talk to them too. We all let the ladies. And ladies buy records. Ladies sure. watch videos and they run up the it. views. You they feel me? Yes, sir. It. You can get them to listen. The, the uh, men are going to come. They're going to come. That's right. Yep. That's right. But y'all already got the fellas already anyway. Yep. Y'all about business. Y'all standing sure. on business. Y'all sure. about money. I already know y'all about money. And we, you know, so we out here getting it. Yeah. So that's what's up, man. So that's what's up. So are you working on like an EP, an album, mixtape project? What are we working on? I'm gonna have an EP coming soon. What's it called? I don't. I ain't even put it put it there <laughs> yet. I ain't went that far, but uh, definitely been been thinking about it. Bro mm -hmm. has said something about me doing one of them anyway. Yeah. So it's definitely coming. I got some. I got uh something that's gonna drop soon. The one that you actually recorded. Okay. Um, I just got to shoot the video, but who that's you gonna, gonna be shoot coming. with? Uh, probably EB. B.B. Shot it yeah. going crazy, starting at 24 already, ain't he? For sure, definitely. He's definitely one of them boys that's working, man. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm shouting out all the videographers that's working. Yeah, shout man. out everybody. You can always hit me up, show me some work, and mm -hmm. we can. Mm -hmm. He's definitely to looking to, are you looking to collab with anybody as well, like around the Tri-State, or are you just kind of focused on what you guys got going right now to kind of spearhead everything? Um, I know uh, Bean had hit me up for a Yeah, collab. Fat Boy Bean. Yep, he yep. was on here, too. That's the so, guy uh, right there. I recorded him not too long ago as yep. well, man. I had the pleasure to do that, finally. Yep. And yep. they just had a show at Milligan's in uh, Orangeboro just mm -hmm. about a week or two ago, matter of fact. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so if you guys are not familiar with that, definitely check into mm -hmm. that, too, as well. I am, too, as well, because I'm trying to get over there myself. But outside you, of that. You had uh, Juju or uh, what's the dude's name that just made that song? I'm not sure, but I know who you're talking mm -hmm. about. Light skin dude with the dreads. 
No, nah, but definitely put me on because you know I'm always looking you. for other artists yeah. to you know what I'm saying nice. network with. And I like get both with. of them. They they, they just, both can rap. They just got on something. It was tough, but uh, okay. Yeah, Juju. really, it be it be so much going on in town. We really just trying to go head first mm-hmm. and get it everywhere else. Right, right. And I and I encourage y'all to not just stay here, but y'all yeah. already knew that though. Yeah, for sure. Stay on that. You got to. Not too many people gonna support in town. Yeah, you but, know how that go. But that's what we're trying to change yeah, here at the Midwest Definitely trying to change. Grind. It's changing, sure. though, believe it, it or not, man. Bit. I've seen a lot of people's, you know what I'm saying, vibes change, mm-hmm. attitudes change, yeah. uh, motivation, encouragement, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And that's nice to see. I'm glad that people are just tuning in and really getting familiar with everybody because a lot of people tap in with the show, and I didn't even For know sure. that until I got, hey, mm-hmm. you ever thought about, did you see? And I'm thinking that people didn't even watch, listen. Watch the show, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, I, I, I'm just being biased at the same mm-hmm. time, but, you know, just trying to make it work, man. So, um... Let me see. Would you say that Good Kid Lamb is the 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 only person that you say would uh, have big significant influence on your work, or would you say like any any other artist that you listen to? Um, artist wise, mm-hmm. uh, I would say yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of little baby, but now since I'm rapping, I like to listen to people that are coming up as well. Yeah, it kind of changes uh-huh. your, you know what I'm saying, yeah, your, your outlook on some things. And I really listen to music more now and like really get to understand everything that people really be seeing. Mm-hmm. I'll be feeling it more. You right. know what I'm saying? Doing your research a little mm-hmm. bit, just kind of seeing what's up. Now, do you take away from that to put the, some of that into your own mu- uh, music? Uh, here and there. Not, you feel me? I ain't gonna take nobody's Well, style, yeah, no, like, like yeah, that, like, but, not the style, yeah, but yeah. just like some of their like, you know, uh, the way that they're talking about it. Yeah, I like to like I'm since I'm newer and stuff. I like the ad lib part. Like, yeah. I've been listening to that. How people yeah. be adding their little ad libs and the background making vocals. them like gunfires with their mouth and stuff. Like just making the song more full. Mm-hmm. And I like uh I'm, I'm starting to take that into consideration and really trying to work on that. Okay. Um, how do you handle criticism and feedback when it comes to your lyrics and your style? Oh, uh, um. Me, I'm the type of person that ain't nothing going with anybody can say anything, <laughs> text me or whatever, I ain't even going to hit back. But, like, if it's criticism as in, like, I'm trying to help you grow and do better, yeah. I'm going to listen 100%. Definitely. And, um, that's always been me, though. I'm a very, like, coachable person, too. And that's the main thing I would yeah. want you to be, bro, because especially in this game and this industry that we're in, we, we don't, you know what I'm saying, we can mm-hmm. only have so much room to grow. Like, yeah. it's, it's really not a ceiling. Mm-hmm. I feel like Michael Jackson was still going crazy at, at 50. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, been singing all his life, dancing all his life, entertaining all his mm-hmm. life. And, he, bro, he, you know, he learned from all the greats, you know what I mean, and never made it mm-hmm. seem like you couldn't coach him. He might know what he knows because yeah. like, but at the same time, he was always trying to get better. And I feel like as sure. an artist... There's That's one of the room. biggest thing. It's yeah. always room to grow. Always and I room. like the fact that y'all ain't got no egos, man. Y'all just want to work and just, you know what I'm saying, continue to chase the dream, man. And I like that about y'all, for real, for real. And Appreciate I think that. that's a really good thing that's going to take you far, man. I really Appreciate do. Um, how do you choose beats, man? Like, like what's, your, what's your creative process and way of choosing beats like that make you want to grab that beat and write to it or freestyle to it? or um, High tempo mm-hmm. uh, type. Sometimes slow is cool. Um, I really like. I listen to it, so like the if it got any type of guitars, pianos, stuff in the mm-hmm. background, stuff like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, shout out uh, Wonka. I be getting a lot of beats from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. Um, he's going big crazy old King right Wonka. Now. I already yeah. know. Big shout out to King Wonka. Right. Wait. 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 Matter of fact, I'm gonna give my flowers to King Wonka because he deserves them. Mm-hmm. He's All been right. going crazy. That. Key Glock record that he got out right now yeah. is going crazy, going but crazy. he's been working, he's been yeah. grinding. I need to get him on here, but I still you know. ain't got a song that ain't on a walk beat. Right, right, <laughs> but That's bro, when I say all we hear is that even around here from other mm-hmm. artists that are you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. working as well and industry artists as well, yeah. all I can do is give you your flowers, bro. I'm not no hater. Facts. I like to make sure that, that that people know that hey, bro, we see you working, paved the way, continue to to grind it out, man, and I like that about him, man. So, shout out King Walker for yeah. sure. I got to come to him, too, and get something from myself. I'm a producer myself. That's what, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. He's I'm not, nice, I'm not, man. I'm not even on that, man. What song you got for us today? Uh, Jada Pickett. Okay. How did that record come up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually uh, with uh, Liam. Okay. Um, we was just in the studio, and that beat came on. And he's on the hook, so he yeah. heard the hook. 
Yeah. And then, you feel me, just got to going Got to there. going crazy. Yeah. And, you know, them For kind sure. of records, when it's like that, you just finish them mm-hmm. out. And they're always some of the, the best records. Yeah, it's more of like a... A party up tempo, turn up. Yo. You gotta dance to it. Oh yeah, I can't wait sure. to hear this for joint. Sure. I cannot wait. What are your socials, bro? So people can find you, look you up, follow you, subscribe to you. Okay, yeah, my um YouTube is uh two nine T W O the number nine I N E E. You can subscribe there. Uh, follow me on Instagram is underscore two nine spelled the same way T W O nine I N E E underscore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got the homie 2-9 in the building, good kid Lamb in the building. I appreciate y'all sliding on me. For sure. I can't wait to bang out this record, y'all. Uh, yeah, it's going down. We're starting off uh, 2K24 pretty good, I'd say. Hot, so. hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah, we all hot. Not that we all in black today, but we all in black. <laughs> so it's going down, baby. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, that boy Max, for the Midwest Music Grind right here at 98.5 FM WEOA. Shout out to our new sponsors for the show, man. Jay's Bar and Grill right there on Van and Covert. Make sure y'all stop in there, man, when you can. It's going down, y'all. Till next week. Peace. It's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind. And it's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music